We've touted the benefits of investing in commercial real estate before, but is now really a good time to buy? Nearly 50% of Americans believe a recession could be on the horizon, and several experts agree. Then again, we've been hearing the same warning for several years without a significant course correction. Indeed, the bull market could continue for several more years, it's anyone's guess. So where does that leave you as someone who wants to invest in commercial real estate? It's important to remember that real estate moves in cycles. There will be ebbs and flows over time. That doesn't mean you shouldn't invest in real estate when the market is at a peak. It just means that you should take extra precautions before doing so. Hey guys, welcome to Developing Dividends. In today's video, we're talking about real estate investments during a recession. But before we continue, kindly like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to stay notified of more interesting videos just like this one. With that done, let's get right into the video. When a recession sets in, the value of your stock portfolio may take a hit if prices drop temporarily. While downturns aren't necessarily ideal, they can create opportunities for savvy real estate investors. If you're thinking about getting into real estate investing during a recession or you already own investment property, it's important to have a strategy for maximizing profits. A recession is marked by a shrinking economy. People spend less money on discretionary purchases, focusing instead on essentials. Companies may slow down hiring or begin laying off workers to bolster their bottom lines. Stock prices may drop in the face of uncertainty about the economy. While it's not exactly a rosy picture, real estate can offer some stability for investors when the economy slows. There are three primary factors that can make real estate a good buy if you're looking for an alternative to the market in a recession. Low correlation to stocks. Historically, real estate has a low correlation to the stock market. That means that even if stocks are experiencing increased volatility because of a recession, there's very little carryover to the real estate market. People still need housing, even when the economy is in a downturn. People still need a place to live. If demand for rental properties remains steady or even rises during a recession and there's a limited supply of housing to go around, property investors are better positioned to be able to count on a steady stream of rental income. Recessions create bargains. A recession doesn't automatically precede a drop in home values, but if a recession causes a hot housing market to cool off, that could open up opportunities for investors to purchase rental properties at a discount. Real estate can also act as a hedge against inflation in the event that a recession leads to stagflation. Stagflation is marked by high inflation and high unemployment. Real estate prices tend to keep pace with rising consumer prices, making them a more inflation-proof investment. So, best real estate investments for a recession. If you're interested in getting started with real estate investing during a recession, the first thing to consider is what types of properties might work best for you. Buying a rental property might be an obvious choice. As long as you're able to keep tenants, renting out property can generate income through a recession. There are different types of rental properties you might consider, including single-family homes, tiny homes, duplexes, triplexes, and quadplexes, apartment buildings, and condos. The more units you're able to rent out, the more rental income you can generate. But more units can mean higher maintenance costs and more responsibilities overall. You can hire a property manager to oversee your rentals for you, but you'll have to pay them a fee which can detract from your profits. If you're not interested in owning rental property for the long term, you might try flipping real estate instead. Flipping means finding a property, fixing it up, then reselling it for more than what you paid. Flipping properties in a recession can be tricky since the pool of ready home buyers might shrink. The longer the home sits on the market, the more you might pay towards the mortgage if you took out a loan to purchase it. But if you're able to find a qualified buyer relatively quickly, flipping homes could allow you to pocket significant profits if you're buying homes at rock bottom prices. It's not just residential real estate that can be a good buy during a recession either. Certain types of commercial property, such as warehouse space and farmland, may continue to do well during a downturn. As with housing, people still need basic commodities like wheat and corn products during a recession, which are things farmland investments can be used to produce. Student housing and senior housing can also be good investments since students still need a place to live while attending school. The aging population in the U.S. means that demand for senior housing isn't likely to go away anytime soon, whether there's a recession going on or not. 
Investing in commercial properties can be attractive since you don't need to get a loan or buy property. Instead, you could invest in a Real Estate Investment Trust (REIT) or through a real estate crowdfunding platform. REITs and real estate crowdfunding can offer the benefits of property ownership without having to actually own it. You can also invest in real estate stocks or exchange-traded funds ETFs, without having to buy any property. If you're interested in exploring real estate investments in a recession, here are three helpful tips to keep in mind. Consider location. Location is always an important factor in choosing real estate investments. If you're looking at rental properties, get to know the area and take the temperature of the overall market. Ideally, you should be looking for rental property investments in areas where demand is high and rental rate would allow you to maintain the kind of profit margin you are seeking. Weigh Cash Flow Cash flow refers to how much money you pocket after deducting expenses from rental incomes. In a recession, it might be necessary to keep a larger amount in cash reserves to cover expenses as they come up, especially if inflation remains high. Compare Financing Options if you need to finance an investment property, pay close attention to interest rates and loan options. Rates may start to offer higher at the beginning of a recession and then drop as the Federal Reserve adjusts rate policy to ensure spending and borrowing. The timing for when you borrow can make a big difference in the cost of the loan overall. It's also important to do your due diligence and research any properties you're interested in thoroughly. You don't want to get into the buying process and find out the property has a sizable lien or the area where the property is located is scheduled to be rezoned. If you're looking at REITs and real estate crowdfunding instead of rental properties, consider the fees you might pay and the return potential for each one. Also, remember to take the holding period into account. With real estate crowdfunding, for example, your money might be tied up for five to seven years in a single property or handful of properties. When investing in real estate stocks or ETFs, pay attention to commission trading fees and expense ratios respectively. Also, consider the overall performance history of a stock or ETF and its risk profile to determine whether it's a good match for your goals and risk tolerance. Investing in real estate during a recession could be a good way to diversify your portfolio. Researching the various options for real estate investing can help you decide which types of investments might be a good fit for your financial plan. If you have cash to invest, you may want to consider buying recession-friendly sectors such as consumer staples, utilities, and healthcare. Stocks that have been paying a dividend for many years can also be a good choice, since they tend to be long-established companies that can withstand a downturn. Consider talking to your financial advisor about whether real estate investing during a recession makes sense for you. Also, if you'll need to get a loan to purchase a rental property, consider what options you have. For example, you might get a conventional loan for a long-term rental but use a bridge loan to purchase a fix-and-flip property. Choosing the right loan is important for maximizing profits and ensuring that you can afford to make the payments if you can't get a tenant right away or a fixer-upper takes time to sell. Few investors can time the market with any real accuracy. Ultimately, it's important for investors to remain focused on their big-picture investment strategy. Those who start investing early will have a long-term horizon in which the market will experience several fluctuations. Those who stick to the basics, investing in quality real estate in strong markets with experienced partners will be the best positioned to weather inevitable economic ebbs and flows. As we discussed in this video, there are ways to prepare for a recession and certain investments that tend to be more recession-proof than others. Follow these investment strategies to help yourself better weather any economic storm that may come down the road. If you're interested in hearing more personal finance tips, then be sure to check out our channel at the first link in the description. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss our future videos about personal finance, investing, and more. Check out our most popular uploads playlist linked below and explore what other topics you can learn about. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.